Hey guys, so right now I'm gonna start making my bar top for the counter for the breakfast bar. So I totally forgot to make an intro, but this is part two of my breakfast bar build. So you're, if you're interested in seeing how I built the opening, you can check that out. It's already up on my channel, but in this video, I'll be showing you how I build the actual countertop for the breakfast bar. So here it is. As you guys know, it's just a wide open space and there's gonna be a countertop coming out here for, I'm gonna put bar stools down here, so there's gonna be a countertop like coming out, so that's what I'm gonna build right now. Um, I was not able to find the same granite that came on my island, so I'm just gonna build one that matches the same color as my shelves over there. And I think it's gonna look nice, this is gonna match, and this is also gonna match. So first things first, I already have all my wood pieces cut to size. So screw this together now, and then I'll show you guys what it's looking like. Um, so I'll show you guys how I install it on top of the breakfast bar area. Here's what my frame is looking like. Now I'm just going to put it up into the space. And before I do that, I went ahead and marked a quarter inch. Can you guys see it? There. I marked a quarter inch from here. And I'm going to put this um, frame just right here to the line that I marked because this quarter inch is for the material that's going to be wrapping um, these two by four pieces. So um, the thickness of the material is um, a quarter inch. So that's why I left this here. So when I go ahead and nail gun it in, it's going to come flush with this piece of wall and not like hang over. I just wanted it to come flush. So sorry if it's a bit confusing. It'll make sense when I do it. Okay guys, so this is all in and I just went out to Home Depot and got my wood cut to size so all these pieces fit. Have that there. And then these pieces like go in the front. Oops. Yeah, so this goes in the front. And then my smaller pieces goes to the side. So right now I'm just gonna nail those in. Okay guys, so I'm done with putting the pieces on. There it is, it looks really nice. I'm just gonna go ahead and putty all of these holes for my nail gun and all of, like these cracks right here just to make it a nice seam. So I'm just gonna putty here, putty here, and then I'm gonna have, I have two brackets here that I'm gonna install right under here, one over there and one over here just to give this more added support. I already went ahead and marked my studs. You can't really see it on camera, but I marked right here where the studs are. One's here, and one's also over here. All right, guys, the brackets are up, but I just want to show you the strength by sitting on it. So let's go. Right, there you have it my shelf well my breakfast bar is super strong so I don't have to worry about it ever I won't have to worry about it ever coming down for any reason so that's there um, like I said I'm just gonna go ahead and putty all my cracks wait for that to dry and then we're gonna stain seal and then we're all done so um, we're almost there okay guys so I'm done with puttying my cracks and sanding it so this is all nice and smooth right now i'm just getting ready to stain um, up here so <clears throat> here's what i'll be using the stain this is a two-part process this is what i do i use early american <coughs> excuse me um, i use early american stain right here and then i also use paint and this is i believe it is dark truffle in a satin finish so early market and dark truffle i will be mixing both of them together and that will be my stain for up here and that's the same color that i achieved over there so i'll show you guys what i do exactly i make sure that like this is mixed really well both of them and that i i'm using paper towels for this so once for my paint and once for my stain so i grab paper towel and I dip it into the stain. So I do that, I get it on there, 
and I just basically rub it in. Once that's there, you can tell that this color, it's brown, but I want it darker. So that's why I go in with my paint. So I'm just gonna grab paint. I literally just dab my paper towel on, into the paint, and then I just blend them together. <laughs> Okay guys, so by the way, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said I was gonna measure a quarter inch less um, because the thickness of this is a quarter inch and now it comes like flush with here. There's like, no, this is not hanging over or anything. It just comes nice and flush. So that's what I did earlier um, with the with my measurements. So I think it looks nice and cleaner rather than having it like follow, um, hanging over. But up here is done, looks really good. Right now I'm just gonna stain right here. Okay guys, and this is what it's looking like once it's all completed. And you guys, this video is up on my channel where I do these bar stools. And it, you can see that it goes well with the, um, the countertop. So that there it is. It looks really nice. Um, I'll give you from a kind of like an angle. There it is. And of course, the, um, the opening, which I worked so hard to build. And it's finally done. And it's, and it's looking amazing. So there it is. It looks really nice. And this is how it's looking like from the other angle, like from the kitchen looking in. So right now I'm standing in my kitchen and this is what it's looking like. So yeah. And um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And share it with anyone who you think might find this helpful. So there it is. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.